Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Miss Glow Glow and the Motivators. I'm back with another breakfast mukbang. Trying to get the camera right. Bear with me. Bear with me, guys. Sometimes the, the thing be so heavy that it just won't sit up right. So you got to do a lot of adjusting. But welcome back anyway. Welcome back. We're going to be eating breakfast this morning. Just chatting. I have some oatmeal, brown sugar oatmeals right here, which I know you guys can see. I have some breakfast link sausages I'm going to put right there. I'm trying to start putting stuff where you guys can see it. And some bacon that I that got too crisp, <laughs> but that's okay. Good. I already said grace off the camera, so we just gonna start eating and getting into this. So happy Tuesday. I hope that you guys can see everything okay. I just have some ice water been here. That's it. Hmm. I don't have the coldest water bottle because I didn't want to try to carry everything downstairs. And y'all let me know if my camera look like it's a little off. I'm trying to even it up, but I'm not so good at that. Okay, I think that's better. So anyway, happy Tuesday to everybody. Happy Tuesday morning to everybody. God bless you. I just wanted to come and sit down and eat with you guys. It's been kind of a minute to me. And I wanted to eat with you guys. I'm still here. I'm still watching y'all videos. Faithfully like I do. Also, on my channel now, I have a join button, a membership join button. If you guys would like, you can join the membership. I think the lowest one is 90 something cents. Join the membership, guys. Let's help each other. You know, and everybody, as you get your channel up and you get monetized and start growing, get you a join membership, and I would definitely join. But sometimes you just got to be led by the spirit because I had joined a lot of membership. Nobody joined mine when I had it. I've been having my join thing for a long time. I had it a year ago, and then I took it away, and now it's back. So it is what it is. That's why we always say what God has for us is for us. What God has for you is for you. Because this is the day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Mm. I'm still waiting to see what the Lord is going to do, what the Lord is going to say, how he's going to work it out for me, get in my own place. Uh, you know, I haven't heard anything that's bad. Since I uh, signed those Section 8 papers and sent them in. And I know it's a process and I know everything is so slow and so behind now because of COVID. But things are getting better. We are slowly but surely getting back to the way things are. I'm talking about the world. My thing is, I wanted to ask you guys some questions. Have you, any of you guys been vaccinated? And I'm not talking about you taking charge of it to me because I know you don't do it. But for all of my other subscribers, have any of you guys been vaccinated for the 
COVID, uh, the flu shot, because they got a new COVID vaccination, a booster shot out now. Are you guys taking it? I want to take it, but I got a new doctor up here where I'm at now. And he's telling me he don't believe in that booster shot. He's just saying, if you done had COVID before, you already got the antibodies in there, you should be all right. But I feel like this, that when you live in a house with other people and, and don't live by yourself, and the majority, everybody's young compared to me, everybody's young. And they're outgoing. I always sit I'm mean, down with some colds or something. All of them stuff with allergies. What would you do? Let me know. You hear that? Somebody going in the bathroom right now. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. So I don't know. Let me see. Let's go with taking. What did you guys do yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. How was your Monday? I started a new series on my channel. It'll be uploaded today, later today. It is called The Fact. The Faith and Fact. Let me see. I can show y'all a little bit of it. And then I'm going to read my affirmation for the day. I started a series. It's called the fat and the faith. Okay? So once you look at that video today, you'll get more insight on it and know what it's about. We just I just uploaded the first series. It'll probably be like a three or four part series. Or episodes, you wanna call it that. I haven't eaten no oatmeal in so long. They are good, but I prefer the grits. I'm just trying to eat right. Stay healthy. And stay away from them. A lot of fast food and stuff. Okay, sometimes, but I just prefer to make my own food. I had gotten off the track so bad, but I'm trying to get back on track, trying to become more consistent out here. Mm, let me see. My first affirmation is going to be. These are life principles to live by, actually. It is listening to God is essential to walking with God. Listening to God is essential to walking with God. We must listen as well as to walk with God. Like the Bible says, listen as well as pray. We have to. We can't walk with God if we don't listen to him. No possible way. If you ain't listening to God, you ain't walking with him. Period. That's it. A lot of people want to say they listen to God. I listen to God. I believe in God. I trust God. You can't walk with him unless you listen to him. That's just like that job. If you ain't doing applying by the company rules and doing what they say for to keep that business running smooth and successful you ain't listening with them 
The second principle is God acts on behalf of those who wait for him. If you wait on the Lord, he will, he will be your defense. He's going to act for you. He's going to fight for you. He's going to be for you. Mm-hmm. Now, the next one says, you reap what you sow more than sow. You reap what you sow more than you sow and later than you sow. Mm. So you reap what you sow more than you sow even more later. <laughs> that one didn't really make sense to me. Hmm. Our intimacy with God, his highest priority for our life, determines the impact of our lives. Then it says, obey God and leave our consequences to him. And then it says, God's word is an immovable anchor in times of storm. That is so true. And the last one says, the awareness of God's presence energizes us for our work. The awareness of God's presence energizes us for our work, and I truly believe that. Because when I feel myself down, and y'all know I feel myself down quite a bit because I suffer from depression. But when I can talk to God, that's why this one right here, I truly, I didn't read that because it's really a part of my life. Um... Uh, wait a minute, where is it? This one say, fight all your battles on your knees and you win every time. That is a big part of my life, so that's why I didn't read it, because I believe in praying, getting on my knees praying. And I believe in when I pray and ask God for something, I must believe it and receive it. When you know, when you love God, you can talk about God anytime, any day. Every day. It don't get old to you. It don't. There was some skin on that Sasha. I don't like skin on Sasha. But when you love him, you can talk about him. You can be about him. Y'all, I really let my bacon get hard. And I know y'all probably like it like that. I don't like it like that. Not that hard. That bacon is so salty. That's how you know I don't eat bacon. It's so salty. I'm going to have to take me a whole blood pressure pill. It is salty. But I don't care for bacon anyway. That's one thing you ain't going to see me eat a lot of. Yeah. I don't really care for these little sausages, but they better than bacon. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little breakfast motivational video. I just wanted to chat and talk. It's just, it's just a video. I just wanted to read some of my life principles that I live by, that I read every day. To keep myself reminded, life principles, praying back, and you see some of them I have checked out because these are the ones that I, I definitely read these every day. Like the ones that trust in God mean looking beyond what we can see 
looking beyond what we can see to what God sees. You know, I really believe that. And I trust in God. I mean, I got to look beyond what I can see, and I got to uh, gotta be able to see what God sees or to believe. Okay? Faith without works is dead. Faith is the evidence of things hopeful and the evidence of things not seen. I got to be able to see things that I cannot see. I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video out. Tell a friend, tell a friend, friend, tell somebody friend about Miss Lolo. And also, guys, uh, stay safe, stay blessed, and just know that we're all under one God, one nation, one love. Peace we have because Jesus left us here with us. And I leave peace here with y'all. Remember now that God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son. And I love you too. Until the next video, happy Tuesday. And God bless.